In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a concept known as economic profit and show you how to compute it. Now, you might be surprised to learn that economists compute profits a little bit differently than most people do. So let's start by thinking about how most people compute profits. And generally speaking, when we compute profits, we're thinking about profits equal revenues minus costs. And to most people, that means we're going to take the revenues that the firm brings in, and we're going to subtract off what we call our accounting costs. These are the costs of our land, our labor, and our capital, three of the resources that we identified in the previous page. And when we take our revenues and we subtract off our accounting costs, we get accounting profit. And this is the type of profit that we typically study in a business course. This is the type of profit that you typically hear reported about on the business news. This is the type of profit that most people identify as profit. However, I want you to notice that the computation of accounting profit considered only the value of our land, labor, and capital, three of our four resources. They did not consider the cost of our entrepreneurship, that fourth most important resource that we identified previously in this lesson. Economists like to consider all of the costs and all of the resources that go into the production process, the land, the labor, the capital, and the entrepreneurship. And so to an economist, we like to compute profits by taking our accounting profit and subtracting off the cost of that entrepreneurship. And when we do that, we get the economist version of profit, or what we will call economic profit. Now we will use this formula throughout most of the lesson this week to help us understand a little bit more about what this cost of entrepreneurship really means. But I also want to take this time to point out that in the coming weeks, there's going to be a second approach to computing economic profits that we're going to find a little more useful. Like method one, it's going to start with our revenues. But then what we will do is we're going to take from those revenues and subtract off our economic costs. And these economic costs are the value of all of our resources, the value of our land, our labor, our capital, and our entrepreneurship, all lumped into this term we call economic costs. And when we subtract off those economic costs, we get economic profit. Now again, for most of the course, method two will be the most useful approach for us to follow. But what I want you to see is that really method one and method two are equivalent ways of computing economic profit. In both cases, we start with revenues. In both cases, we subtract off the cost of our land, the cost of our labor, the cost of our capital, and the cost of our entrepreneurship. It's just that in method one, we subtract that out, we break that out into two steps. Whereas in method two, we subtract off the cost of all of our resources in one step, giving us our economic profit. Again, for the remainder of this lesson, we're going to focus a little bit more on method one because we're trying to learn a little bit more about what this cost of entrepreneurship really means. But as we turn to chapter five, and for the remainder of the course, we'll be using method two. So it's important that you become familiar with both. 